Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And when the outside looks kind of like this, not quite warm enough to go outside and do all the things you like to do, sometimes you need some indoor games. And that's what this month's Trash Panda Treasure Box is all about. And if you're watching this video, then you picked the indoor horseshoes game. So what do we have? We've got our cardboard tube, we have some fingernail polish, our stack of washers, our green felt square, and you guys got small rolls of duct tape. I have some silver for this one. And what we're gonna do is we want five, six inch long pieces. And I'm showing the edge of the tabletop in this video specifically because I wanna show you a trick for cutting the duct tape. Um, if you stick the loose end of the duct tape to the table, before you cut, the table will hold it taut so that when you cut, it won't twist up on itself. Um, this is always how I cut duct tape and very rarely do I have to throw away a piece because it gets all tangled up. So keeps it um, a nice straight line and we are gonna want five, six inch or so pieces. Uh, you can always trim them down. So um, if you stick the majority of that to the table it will pull it tight, and then when you cut, um, it won't wrinkle up and you know double over on you. Um, you're also gonna want like maybe four extra small squares. Um, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the middle part of that strip and you're gonna put it on your cardboard tube. And when you flatten it down and then tuck the ends into the other part, and this does not need to be perfect. Um, so you want to get it so it's covered, but uh, some wrinkling is fine and a not completely flat top is also fine. All right, once you have that tube all covered, uh, this is one I did in blue, you can see the lines from the separate strips and that it's tucked around and pretty much the inside is covered too, which is just what we want. So now we will turn our attention to our washers. And this is kind of a strange thing, but um, the fingernail polish works kind of like an enamel. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool, just you don't have to do it, but it can add an extra fun dimension of color. Um, so here's my first layer. You're probably going to want to put two on, and then as soon as they're dry, flip them and do the other sides. Which brings us to our green square of felt. And what you want to do is you kind of want to look for the middle. And that is where your duct tape covered tube is going to go. And I'm going to grab a pencil here, but I'm going to trace around a circle right along the inside, right in the middle of that square. Um, and it doesn't need to be super dark. You just need to be able to see it well enough to know where you're going to cut. So once you have your circle, I'm going to kind of figure out, I'm going to kind of draw a cross in the middle of it like a big plus sign. And I'm gonna cut that plus sign with my scissors. And I think the easiest way to do this is to kind of pull up the middle away from the table a little bit, see where that straight line is gonna go and just cut a small notch. That is gonna give you um, a place for your scissors to slip into to make cutting the X really super easy. Um, you don't have to try to puncture through the middle of the felt which scissors can slip and there can be injuries and we don't want that. So I'm gonna cut up and down that cross. Apologize for my elbow kind of covering up where I'm cutting there. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the horizontal. So we're just gonna cut right to the edge of that circle and right to the edge on the other side. Now that we have these flaps, we can put our cardboard tube back in position and use our little squares of tape to fold up the corners so that this tube will stay in place. Basically, we just want to make sure that for everybody who is throwing washers, that the tube doesn't move around because that wouldn't be fair. Um, it also helps, um, I'll show you how at the end you can kind of wrap it all up and keep everything together. Easy, transportable game. So we're going to put those around 
And then if you have extra duct tape, you can put it along the edges of the square. It helps kind of weigh it down a little bit, but you don't have to. Then when you're done, you roll that up, flip it over, and put your washers right on the inside, put up the final flaps, and there you go. Portable indoor washer game. Ta-da!